let's face it, for most of us, the ability to do something like this, it's probably something that we take for granted most days. But there are nearly 2 million people in the US who are living without a limb. And prosthetic devices, typically really expensive. They can cost up to $80,000. But this device could be a game changer. Right now, as you can see, I have a nice tan and my arm's a little lighter, so <laughs> during the winter time, it'll probably match me a little bit better. That's Jenny Mall. She's one of the first people to receive a true limb robotic arm from Unlimited Tomorrow. It's a prosthetic arm that's nearly entirely 3D printed. And maybe more importantly, it's extremely customizable, meaning it's more comfortable and less noticeable. It gives me some confidence when you're walking around with nothing on, you just have your nub or whatever. People are like, oh man, wonder what happened. Um, poor thing or whatever. But when you're wearing an arm like this, they're like, whoa, <laughs> you know. Unlimited Tomorrow designed its process from the ground up to change the way prosthetics are designed, fit, and manufactured. So here's how it works. It starts with a questionnaire on the company website to determine if a person is a good candidate. And if they are, the company sends them a 3D scanner to scan their limb. That data gets sent back to the company, which can also collect info on the candidate's opposite hand if they have one. They can then use those images to design a completely customized robotic hand right down to the fingernails. Most of the parts are printed on HP 3D color printers, which allow for about 450 skin tones right now. The whole process can vary. Generally, it takes around two weeks between scanning and delivery. What you may or may not have noticed here is this is a direct-to-consumer approach. It takes out any middlemen. It's the same thing with what kind of Smile Direct and um, Invisalign is doing to the orthodontic industry. We're doing that to the prosthetic industry. That's Trulim founder, Easton LaChapelle. He says with good insurance, the average out-of-pocket cost for a prosthetic device is about $20,000. Trulim, on the other hand, costs just $8,000. We have control over our electronics, our mechanics, uh, the software. We've been able to create an all-in-one solution. And typically within the prosthetic industry, there's you know a prosthetist and clinicians make the socket. Another company, a big manufacturer, makes the hands. Another company maybe makes the batteries and and uh, and muscle sensors. And uh, a lot of times, um, it, it's the the system is built around charging insurance as much as possible. The arms are programmed for six different grips for various tasks, and they're fit with a proprietary sensor that reads minute muscle contractions and movements through um, pattern recognition. Uh, they uh, that detects certain movements and where muscles are located and then can actually drive the hand. And a lot like Tesla's, TrueLim relies on Bluetooth and cellular connectivity. So Unlimited Tomorrow can push firmware updates remotely. You know, you might wake up one day and it has more battery life or uh, maybe it's stronger or maybe new control systems behind it. Easton says up until now, a lot of the devices available out there were pretty robotic looking. It's part of the reason why TrueLim puts a big focus on children. They get bullied at school, so there's a psychological aspect that they're looking for. And so by having veins and fingernails and custom shape and skin tone, it's a unique part of them. We were working with a girl out of Colorado, and um, she's never been able to roll down uh, her long sleeves, uh, both of them before. But, you know, now she comes out with a long sleeve shirt on and, you know, it's rolled down and it's like, oh my gosh. Easton, who's only 24 years old, started the company six years ago. But in reality, True Limb is more like a decade in the making. He made his first robotic arm when he was just 14 years old. This was a robotic hand controlled by a wireless control glove. I used Arduinos, Legos as plastic supports, electrical tubing, fishing lines as tendons. Made a proof of concept, really stumbled upon my passion. A couple of years later, he got his first 3D printer off Kickstarter. After some tinkering, he was able to create a more functional arm that could do things like toss a ball, shake people's hands. Uh, this incredible moment happened at the 2013 um, State Science Fair in Colorado, uh, where a small girl came up to my project, and I noticed you know, she was looking at the details more than really any other, any, any other kid. Uh, and I, it caught my eye, and I realized that she was missing her right arm and was wearing a prosthesis. And it was a very, very simple prosthesis. It was a human-like claw with one motion, open close, one sensor, and uh, started talking to her parents more about this. And I found it had taken months to create, which is a problem for growing children. And it cost $80,000 and it was really eye-opening for me where I had a, you know, a robotic hand had individual finger motion, could do all these things for a couple hundred dollars, you know, next to this, you know, $80,000 human-like claw that was simpler. 
Now, it wasn't long before Easton's invention started getting a lot of worldwide attention. That included a trip to the White House and a handshake between his device and President Obama. But it was a TEDx talk he was giving in 2013 that caught the attention of life coach Tony Robbins. He gave me a call one day saying, I, I help people around the world psychologically. I, I've always wanted to help them physically, and I think you're the man to do that. Uh, and I can't believe you're, you're meeting world leaders, but still living out of your parents' bedroom. I, I got to help you fix that. So he provided, a, he provided startup capital. I went from my, my bedroom to a garage. And that brings us to 2020. Easton and Unlimited Tomorrow now work out of an office in New York City with a team of 14 people. Now, Jenny was part of the company's product test group, so she received her arm for free. She lost her left hand in a car accident about a year and a half ago. The immediate thing you think is if I could just get my hand back or if I could get something to replace it, everything would be okay. Her husband saw a post from a friend on Facebook that Unlimited Tomorrow was looking for 100 people to help them test and evaluate TrueLim. Jenny figured her chances of getting selected were pretty slim, but she gave it a shot anyway. I was on the couch and I got the email and I started crying immediately because I was just, you know, so overjoyed. Then when it came, the FedEx man, I teared up when he was handing me the box. It's been life changing and it's just meant everything to me. Just to be able to hold my papers in one hand and open the door with the other hand is, um, I know that sounds trivial, but it's big when you don't have another hand. Now right now, Unlimited Tomorrow isn't releasing sales numbers, so it's not clear how many limbs it's delivered, but Easton tells me they're building toward a more official launch later this year. Right now, they're just focused on the US, but Easton says he wants to expand worldwide, particularly to countries that don't have a lot of access to this type of tech. And I know what you're wondering, what about prosthetic legs? Well, that really becomes a whole different beast because a leg has to be weight-bearing. And Easton says they're definitely looking into it, but they wanna make sure that whatever they make, it's safe and ethical. So I want to know what you think. Let us know in the comments below.